this video, you will learn how to install the TI Inspire CX Premium Teacher software on your District Managed MacBook. To install this or any other software on your District Managed device, first you will need to open Self Service. I have Self Service pinned to my dock, but you can also find Self Service by opening your launchpad or by pressing the F4 key on your keyboard. Once self-service is loaded, I can quickly find the software by using the search bar. I'll search for TI Inspire, making sure that I include the hyphen. This will bring up a list of all of the TI Inspire software that is available for download. You'll want to be sure that you select the option that says TI Inspire CX Premium Teacher Software, because this is the most up-to-date version of the software, and it bundles both the Inspire Teacher Software and the Navigator software into one program. When I click on Install, Self Service will give me more information about the software. I'll click on Install again to begin. It may take several minutes for the download and installation to complete. installation, you may receive a notification that the system extension has been blocked. If this happens, you will need to open Security Preferences, and allow Silicone Laboratories to complete the installation. At this point, the software should be completely installed. I'll close my Security Preferences and Self-Service, and now if I open my Launchpad, I can see that the software has downloaded and is available to use. The first time you use the software, you will be asked to select a handheld type. Choose the TI Inspire CX or CX2 software option and click Next. You will then be asked for your license number. If you've obtained a license number from your campus or district facilitator, select Yes, activate your license to enter the number. If you do not have a license number, you can select No, Continue Trial Version, which will allow you to use the software free for 90 days. The package that you have installed includes software for both the TI Inspire CX and CX CAS models. You may not see the CAS version in your launchpad, but if you open Finder and select Applications from the left sidebar, you can access both versions of the software.